item difficulty analysis in SPSS for multiple choice question exam uh, to determine the P value. Item difficulty measures the percentage of students who answered multiple choice question item correctly. It is frequently called the p-value proportion or percentage value. The item difficulty value range between 0 and 1. The item difficulty reveals whether an item is too easy or too hard. A higher percentage item difficulty indicates an easier item and a lower percentage item difficulty indicates a more difficult item. Value of 1 indicates very easy question and value of 0 points to a very hard question. An item with a p-value of 0 or 1 does not differentiate between students who know the subject and the material and the content and those who do not. In this case, if you have an item difficulty for a question that is 0 or 1, delete that item from the exam or exams that are either too easy or too hard and an ideal question has an item difficulty value between 0.4 and 0.6. The way to calculate the item difficulty is to use the following equation. Count the number of students answering item correctly, divide that by the total number of students, then multiply the product by 100 to generate an item difficulty. The table below classify the questions according to the, to the value of the item difficulty. An item difficulty with a value range between 0 and 20% is considered as a very difficult question. A question with 21 to 40% range is a difficult question. An item that has 41 to 60 percent range value is considered as a moderately difficult question. And any question that has a range of 61 to 80 percent considered to be an easy one. And an item or a question that has a p-value greater than 81 percent considered to be a very easy question. So these are the criteria to classify question based on the item difficulty value. In this table shows 15 multiple choice question answered by 10 students and the answer was recorded as 1 for correct answer, 0 for wrong answer. And to calculate the item difficulty or the p-value for each question, add all the correct answer scored for each question and divide that by the total number of students. For the first case, it's 5 correct answer divided by 10, so it is 0.5. And for the question number 15, 2 correct answer divided by 10 is 0.2. Again, from the p-value for each item or each question of these 15 questions, the questions can be labeled as either easy or difficult or acceptable. For the question number one, the p-value is 0.5, so it is an ideal question within the range for moderately difficult question. The question number two and three is having they both have a p-value greater, great, higher value of 0.7. So that indicates that these questions are easy and they are uh, easy questions and need to be re-modified or 
readjusted. Question number four to question number 11 are an idea, uh, up to 11 are an ide idealistic questions. Question number 12 is a very easy question as 90% of the student answered the question correctly. And for question number 15, only two students managed to answer the question correctly. So it is a very hard question. So this is the way to classify items or questions in an exam that contain multiple choice question is to calculate the item difficulty. Item difficulty analysis in SPSS is one of the method to evaluate the quality of multiple choice question exam. Item difficulty measures the proportion of students who answered the question correctly. Sometimes it is referred to as p-value stands for proportion or percentage value. Item difficulty value range from 0 to 1. 0 means that no student had answered the question correctly. So the question is an extremely difficult one. And an item difficulty of a value of 1 indicates that all the students had answered the question correctly and the question or the item is an extremely easy question. The way to calculate the item difficulty value is to count the number of students who answered the question correctly, divide that by the total number of students participating in the exam, and then multiply the product by 100 to get the percentage or proportion of the value for item difficulty. Here in uh, this sheet of Excel, I have an exam result for 38 students answering 76 questions from question number one to question number 76. Those are multiple choice questions. And each question, the score for it was either zero or one. Zero indicates wrong answer, one means correct answer. And to determine which one of those question is an easy and which one is a difficult, then we need to perform item difficulty. First, we need to copy these data and transfer it into SPSS to do the analysis in the SPSS. So to do that, click on the question number one, and then drag and then scroll to the end toward question number 76, hold 76, hold the shift key and click, and those questions from one to 76 are highlighted. Then click on shift together with control and with the arrow that's heading toward the bottom uh, and this will highlight the data that we want to transfer. Once these data are highlighted, right click and then select copy and then transfer this into SPSS in a new window of data view. Click on this cell and then right click and then paste the data from Excel into SPSS. And here I'm going to do a few editing and modification. I'm going to delete the first row. And if we look at the variable view, we need to do some editing for the changing the type of the data and lining the data and the measuring for the data and also naming the variable. We'll start with the type. So since we have here a value of zero or one or a score of zero and one for each question, then we need to change this from a string into numeric. And the way to do that is you click on the cell here, three dots appear, click on them, and then a window appear here 
so specifying what type of variable you want to select so for this we're going for numeric we click on ok and we do the same for the rest and so on so i've missed the first one so i'm going to also change the type to numeric and since once we started here we can also select the cell and uh, then uh, copy and then select the cells that we want to change the type highlight them then right click and then paste all these cells has been changed to a numeric now for the align again you click in the align three options appear i'm going to make it center for the second one also center for the third one also center and to make it faster i'm going to copy the first one highlight and select all the one that i want to change and then paste to make them all center and for major again we're going to keep it as scale at this stage now for naming of the variables they are all na named from variable 1 to 76 and i'm going to change that naming so if we highlight that column here all the variable and then uh, click ctrl f for replace find and replace a window will appear for find the replace variable and in the find i'm going to type var000 and then i'm going to replace anything with var variable 000 with q for question and i'm going to do that for all the variables so we replace all the variables so we click on replace all and as we can see here all the variable name has been changed into q number one to q number 76 with the 38 cases now we are ready to do item difficulty analysis straight away the way to do that is to click on analyze scroll down to descriptive statistics then scroll down to descriptive in the descriptive we are going to calculate the item difficulties for all the questions so we're going to select all control a and then drag into the box of variables uh, under the options click on the options and take the mini minimum the maximum the standard deviation and keep the mean because the mean in this case is the total amount of the correct answer divided by um, the total number of students participating in the exam so the mean reflects here the item difficulty so click on continue and then click on ok the SBSS will generate an output a table from question number one to question number 76 and in this question there is a mean for each question which is the average of the correct answer for every individual item or question so this is the value here is the item difficulty or the p value and it could be trans changed into percentage by multiplying it by 100 as a standard role a rule in uh, calculating and evaluating item difficulty any item which has a value for item difficulty between 0.41 and 0.6 is considered to be an acceptable and ideal and a moderate difficult question anything below 0 0.1 0 0.41 and or higher than 0.6 is considered to be either a very difficult or an a very easy question so here for the question number one the item difficulty is 0.18 which mean 18 percent of the student answered this question correctly so it is a difficult question in fact it is a very difficult question the question number two has a value of 0.95 or 95 percent of the student answered the question correctly so this indicates that the question is extremely easy question question number three 
uh, had a value of 0.39 just on the border of 0.41 so we'll consider that as an acceptable question question number four has a value of 0 0.79 0 0.8 80 percent so this indicate that this is an easy or extremely easy question question number five has a value of 0 0.66 again this one will be included in the category for moderately difficult question so we'll accept that as an acceptable question so if you look a scroll through all we can see here there is 92 percent of the student answered the question correctly uh, so these the way this is the way to identify and determine which question is an easy question or extremely easy question and which question is an extremely difficult question or a difficult question and so this well this way an examiner will be able to identify the question modify them or change them and make the exam quality of a high standard um uh, for the students and um, to transfer this table i'm going to export this table into excel and save it as an excel file and the way to do that is to click on the table as it's highlighted in yellow and then right click on it and there is a function for export click on that export and I'm going to export that table into Excel, uh, which is 2007 and higher. And I'm going to save that in the folder for YouTube under exam questions. And I'm going to save it here as item difficulty. Choose the item difficulty here and save. item difficulties and I'm going to save it in under item difficulties and then if we click on item difficulty and save it here and then we made sure that this box for open the containing folder is ticked on if we click on ok again it will be exported and the file is saved uh, in item difficulty in the folder